You might think that the flu is not really important, but the flu is absolutely a big deal. In this video, we will talk about the flu and why it matters to you, your local community, and to the whole world. What is the flu and what causes it? The flu is caused by the influenza virus. This virus is a respiratory virus that infects the mouth, nose, and lungs. It's spread from person to person, primarily through droplets that are released into the air when someone with the flu coughs, sneezes, or even talks. If you are nearby, you could catch the virus when these droplets land on your mouth or your nose, or if you inhale them into your lungs. These droplets can also land on objects and surfaces. So you could also catch the flu if you touch these surfaces and then touch your own mouth, nose, or hands before you wash your hands or use hand sanitizer. What is flu season? While you could get the flu at any time during the year, the flu is more common in the fall and winter months. This is what we call flu season. In the Northern Hemisphere, October through February is usually the peak of flu activity. How many people get the flu each year? Flu season is kind of like football season. Sometimes it goes pretty well, and sometimes it's a disaster. Every season is different with the flu, but on average, about 8% of the U.S. population gets infected each year. That's more than 26 million people. Everyone who gets infected with the flu virus feels differently, but fever, cough, sore throat, and a runny nose are most common. The flu can also cause symptoms in your whole body, like headaches, muscle aches, chills, and fatigue. Some people have mild symptoms, while other people have severe symptoms and need to be hospitalized. People at highest risk of severe infections include those who are 65 years or older, those with chronic medical conditions like asthma, diabetes, or heart disease, pregnant women, and young children less than five years old. Unfortunately, there are many people whose lives are threatened by the flu each year. In a typical season in the U.S., experts estimate that between 10 and 50,000 people die of the flu each year. What are some examples of bad flu seasons? There's not just one influenza virus that infects humans every year. Actually, there are a bunch of influenza viruses that differ from each other, sometimes a little and sometimes a lot. Every season, different influenza viruses called strains cause most of the infections in humans. Some of these strains are more dangerous than others. Every so often, the flu virus becomes especially dangerous. When this happens, we suffer catastrophic outbreaks that can spread around the world. This is called a flu pandemic. You may have heard of the Spanish flu, an influenza outbreak that began in 1918. This pandemic happened during the tail end of World War I, and the movement of people across the globe helped spread this especially dangerous virus. The Spanish flu ended up claiming the lives of an estimated 50 million people worldwide. This makes it one of the most deadly flu pandemics in human history. Are there economic impacts of flu outbreaks? While it's hard to put an exact dollar amount on the cost of flu season, recent estimates put the direct medical costs in the U.S. alone at $3 billion. The flu causes people to miss school and work. The indirect economic cost to society is estimated at $8 billion, all in all, that's $11 billion every year just because of this one virus. So it's pretty clear that the flu is a big deal. Between the lives lost and the damage to the economy, the flu is an opponent that demands serious attention. And it's not just doctors and governments that have a say in this fight. Every individual can take action to protect themselves and their community. So what can you do to protect yourself and your family from the flu? Your best defense against the flu is getting vaccinated every year and encouraging all of your family members and friends to also get the vaccine. Getting vaccinated reduces your chance of getting seriously ill from the flu. It's also important to stay home if you feel ill, cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze, and wash your hands and use hand sanitizer. 
Patients sometimes ask me, why do I need a flu shot every year? Isn't it always the same virus? Remember, the flu virus is always changing. The flu viruses that cause the most infections every year are slightly or seriously different from the year before. So the protection from last year's vaccine just won't cut it for this year's flu season. Okay, let's recap. The flu means an infection caused by the influenza virus. The flu virus is spread from person to person, primarily through respiratory droplets, produced when an infected person coughs, sneezes, or talks. The flu season is the time of year where there are more people with the flu. Many people get the flu every year, and it can be deadly. A yearly flu vaccine is your best defense against getting seriously sick with the flu. If you have further questions, please reach out to your healthcare provider.